See the see the light coming through the top? It's not <laughs> supposed to do that. What do we got going today? All right, today we got a little bit of exhaust. I'll let you hear it. Yeah. There's a little noise there. So I haven't looked underneath. We're gonna lift it in the air and check it out, see what it is. Safety check. It didn't fall, we're good. Choice. All right. Oh, let me get a light. I can see the light. I'm being baptized right here. Yeah, see, look at that. That looks like the bad spot. That's pretty easy, we'll just, if, well, I say pretty easy, but that's assuming that these nuts come off without breaking off in the manifold and all of the above. So what does the rest look like? Are we wasting time by fixing that? Muffler, not rotted out. Yeah, I think we can just go ahead and fix that. We'll do it. Little sawzall action. Probably we can weld right there fairly easy all the way around. So we'll cut it off right there and unbolt that and go ahead and mirror that image on the bender and voila, we're done. Just that simple. All right, so what we're about to temp is risky business. We know that. These bolts are notorious for just breaking off. But One down. He's gonna get lucky. That red truck out. may have just taken all of our bad luck away, man. I think we've paid our dues. The exhaust gods are in our favor. And just that, like that. folks, is what winning is looking like. We'll just saw this pipe off and make it in. Saw it off, we'll unplug an O2 sensor and pop it out of there. I'm gonna do something that's completely out of character for me. And that would be? We'll put a pair of safety glasses on. What? And earplugs. Ear oh, I should put a long sleeve coat on. Ooh. And be like, Michelle, look, I'm safe today. Woo! <laughs> I can weld right there, I think. I'm gonna unplug that O2 sensor first. Yeah. I feel like this may just drop to the ground. Um, Need that? Yeah, got him. Now we'll see if it'll drop out. It'll drop. Ow, I just hit my head. There it is. Okay. So now you can see, yeah, there was a small crack in that. Seems to be broken right there. Yeah. So we're gonna have to harvest the plug because we're gonna need that. Oh yeah, Even we are. that came undone. We are living right. We're doing good here, look at that. Now we just gotta build. Gotta make that bend. That. We'll get this set up and we'll let you know. All right, here's a little setup of what we're doing. We found all the right parts and pieces. This is the coner. So basically, this is gonna get in here and it's gonna shove it in until it bottoms out right here. And it's gonna create that. Basically just a ceiling surface for the O-ring to sit on. So donut ring, so we'll fire it up and get it done. All right, we're gonna interrupt this video to bring you something that's really important to me. So this is Jeff. He used to work for me when I was working for a telephone company. He was on my crew. We're in a pretty unique spot that I've never been in before. We have a pretty big platform where a lot of people can see us and uh, these guys need some help, so I told Jeff to stop by and we'll see if we can help them out. His brother yep. and his cousin got in a bad car crash. I know them both. So they were on their way to Texas to go work in the oil field. They're gone two weeks at a time. And they were about 10 minutes from the rig and they got in a head on with the semi. And the semi blew a front tire and come over into their side of the highway and head on them. They've both been in the hospitals for two weeks. Um, they've both got broken pelvises. One's got a broken femur, broken knee, and a broken ankle. Clinton broke his jaw. So it's a long recovery for these boys. Oh yeah. Problem is they're in Texas right now, and we're in Utah, they need to come home. And it's not cheap to transport somebody like that that's hurt that bad back here. So they need some help. They got a GoFundMe set up. We'll put the link to their, their GoFundMe page in our description. These guys are gonna need some help for a long while. They aren't, they aren't gonna be able to work. They're oil riggers. That's physical work and they're messed up. So it's gonna be a, a day or two before these boys can go back to work. So each of them have four little kids and a wife. We're just trying to help them any way we can. Any, any donation to these guys will help them out. So if you guys could help us get these boys home, we would greatly appreciate it. Thank you. All right. We'll do a little tweaking. We may have to cut it off just a little, but that's what I want. Yeah, give me extra. 
I planned on that, and it's all getting cut off. It's going to be all smashed, so it doesn't matter. Okay. And down a little ways. I need like 27 more hands. Okay. Alright, you got your holder. You got to get way closer. It's like artist work here. We're going to be pretty close. I think we got her. Yeah. Okay, we got to cut that bung out of there. There's this little piece and right here we got to have. So we'll go cut this off where we need it. We'll take this off, slide it on, then we can flare the end of it, and then yep. we'll put the bung in it. Hopefully we can crimp it. Push that start button back there for me. Start it up. Oh no, wait, hold up. What? It'll slide on this way. Will it slide on the helmet? Yeah, I checked it already. Okay. It's... I'm just making sure. We don't want to do that. I've done it. That's why I'm saying it. No, we're good to go. I checked it. It's always good to double check everything. I've never used this side. Oh, you might have to tighten it up. Yeah, let me get a press around. Got to do a little adjustment of the pull down. Just a little. You got to have a tight enough to hold it, but not too tight so you don't bend it. Not quite yet. It's getting there though. Perfect. Let's see what she does. Not perfect. She's a sliding. Uh -huh. So Grandma Lolly is now our merch lady. She runs the Rat Shack. So if you guys stop by here, you'll see her. Just so you know, she is our guard. So stay too long, she'll kick you out. I'm not kidding. she kicked me out. Where's that collar? Right here? Right there. Let's see what this looks like. That'll seal. Okay, now we just got to harvest that bunk and then we'll put it up in, cut it to length and flare this in, slide over, weld it up, and we are done. Done. Plasma? Um, maybe. Cut it out. Oh, look at that. We'll just drill it out. All right, we're going to see if we can do this without ruining this or that. We'll see how this works. Safety. First. I know what you need. Some oil. Some of that cutting stuff. I found out that stuff works good on sawzalls. It works pretty good on about anything. Oh, that was, ah. seems to be. I think the heat has got to it. Oh yeah, there, there we, we go. go. Now it's gonna be like butter. I don't believe it's not butter. That's O2 bong. We'll drill a hole for it, just like that. Yep. All right, reused O2 bong. All right, Ben went over, put this up in the car, determined that is the spot we need this, so. So very close. There's the O2 right there. We'll weld that in, and then it's a matter of putting it up in, cutting it off, flaring that in, sliding it in, welding it all up, done. Like that. Okay. It'll be good. Okay, we're gonna go ahead and test fit this piece. See how it looks. Okay. We'll we go cut, cut it, this pipe. Cut it right there and then flare it to fit over itself. We can slide it all in. Done. This may be over bent. It kinda does. No, no, no. I know. It's hard to believe I screwed up, but I mean, everything's perfect other than it's not exactly perfect. Everything's perfect except it's not right. Yeah, that's, that's the words I'm telling you. I mean, it's really close to right, but it ain't right, it's over bent. Can we take and kink it down here? Kink it up? Yeah. Maybe. See if it'll pull it. Just needs to... We can try it. This it needs to go in here. And needs to go up and up. Yeah. Let's see. That needs to... No, that's over bent. It needs to lay back. Yeah. Right? Yep. So it needs to bend on this side. Like that, basically. All right. Are we thinking properly here? Let's see. We need a bend right here on this side. That's not the prettiest of bends, but. No. But it doesn't have a hole in it. I just didn't like how it was setting on that on that cup right up there. Yeah. 
That'll probably pull up now. <clears throat> Hopefully somebody put that O2 in the right spot. It's looking a little on top to me. Oh, it's a short one. It'll almost go in. Almost. That's the story of our life. And we were excited because those bolts came out <laughs> right there. Zipper down. All right. We'll put the O2 sensor in it and start it and see what it sounds like. If it sounds good, we'll weld it in. It's going to sound great. It might be too early to tell. No. Wah, wah, wah. Hey, it's right in the way, isn't it? We'll fix it. You right. see nothing. That's nothing. Right. She's tight. Okay, so we'll move this stuff and we'll get it checked. He's gonna fire it, let's see what it sounds like. It sounds like it's leaking to me. Here, we'll just lift it up. It's quieter, but I don't think it's good. I think we're gonna have to fix that pipe. Got a little bit of leakage. Just barely. We might shut it off and just tighten it up a little. You're gonna reseal on it? Yep. We did reuse an old donut gasket on it. Sometimes those don't reseal as best. So we're gonna retighten it and try from there. Doing some retorquing on the pipe. Retor I think I'm gonna weld it. Okay, I'm confident. I'm gonna weld that sucker in there. This is not gonna be a fun one. Just in case you're wondering. I was wondering about that. Well, there's three quarters of it's welded. Get it right through here. All right, she's welded, we can let it down and hopefully she's quiet, whisper quiet. Whisper quiet. I'm not even gonna let it down, I'm gonna climb up in there. You stay underneath. Okay, go for it. We'll see if we're exhaust geniuses or failures. Oh, that's back farther. Our job's good. Oh, this is good, you see that? Then you get back to this clamp, and there's nothing right here. It's blowing all out. That's where it's leaking? Yeah. Oh yeah, I can feel it. So, we'll uh, deal with that then. Okay, I'm on. Alright, so we've got our problem solved. It looks good. Sanitary, it's all in there, nice and neat. Check this out. See the, see the light coming through the top? It's not <laughs> supposed to do that. Yeah, it's supposed to be sealed. There's so we're gonna have to deal with that. We're dealing with that now. Right up inside of there, it's leaking oil. Right here, this thing is, is bad right here. The bushing that's up inside of that is smoked, so it's not worth putting a seal in it. This thing needs a gearbox, and we are not doing that, so uh, we're gonna fix some exhaust leaks and ship it. We've got something. Then we're gonna see what it is. Oh, is it a scooter? It is. It's like Christmas. There. I think it's a new improved Varla bike. Last one didn't have a light. Oh, that's pretty good design right there. there we'll get go. some parts, put it on, see if it turns on. Oh, it comes with your own friction. Look at that. Thing has everything. <laughs> Handlebars are... Good old charger. Pretty much there. We'll tighten them all on. That's sweet. So we just got this Varla scooter. Never tested this sucker out. This is a little bigger than our other Varla scooter. So we'll see how this works. Bigger option than this one. 
This one's fun. But that one's been good. We beat that thing around. It's pretty yeah. tough. Get got tested. this, though. That, this one doesn't have it? No. That, and that's all you need. Yeah. Well, what more do you need than a dinger? Yeah. So if you guys want to check your own scooter out, check it out in the description box. What got there? This is... This is two Chevy alternator, small block Chevy alternator brackets that they've had pinched around the exhaust. And I think it's aluminum foil that they had as a gasket. We'll make it right. Oh, well, how many clicks? One, two, three, three clicks at a time. I'm going to take her off. Just kidding, I'm going to get in a gun. As you can see up in there, there's not really a gas. Let me. Let me get you the. Oh, it is tin foil. That has been confirmed. Somebody made them a gasket out of tin foil. It's, in, it's creative. I like it. I'm gonna give them. I'm gonna give them a three on creativity. All right. Now we gotta figure out something to put back in there. All right. So we've come up. We've we've struck out. We've got no gasket material. We're gonna make somebody's life a little harder. One day, we're just gonna take cut this flange off butt it right up against that and weld it in and it's going to be there and it's going to not leak it'll Problem be perfect solved. making sure i'm not and there it is got him we'll clean those up a little and all these pipes will just slip right in weld them up yeah, I can weld that one. Oh, hold it right Next there. Next one? Ah, oh, let me put the safety glasses on. Oh yeah, that'll flip you. Safety first. I knew I was forgetting something. <laughs> All right. Okay. Now we're gonna make it fit in there and weld it. Ben's gonna ratchet strap this thing up in there. That one's a little on the... Huh. Different size. <laughs> the one's good. The one we're gonna have to build a bushing for. Okay, well. Let me show you what I got going here. See the gap? I'm it's, not that good of a welder. You're pretty good, but I don't know. Oh, come on. Oh, stuck. I got it. <laughs> All right, I'm going to go build a bushing for that thing, and then we'll have it. We're building some stuff here. That was two and a half, or two. Now it's two and a quarter, and it's about to go to two and a half. Two and a half. Two and a half. Now we just got to cut that off. That should slip over the pipe. Well then, perfect. Well then, done. Done. Right. Oh yeah, perfect. I'll go uh, saws all that off so it's just a little shorty and a little short. Be back. Done. Yeah. <laughs> oh, more importantly, I guess we should try this one. Look at that. I can weld that. Can weld it weld wouldn't that hurt up. to be just. I'm gonna go. Tad more. I don't know if I can the way I just cut it off. Oh, it did. Did it. It did it. I think that's going to yep. work. That's perfect so look now. At that thing. It's going to be perfect. It's going to be whisper quiet. Oh, yeah. That's cool. it. Yeah. So we slip that on there over that. And then we do your little ratchety I, thing. I pulled this out here. We got to put this back in. Oh. There we go. There we go. Method of madness. And then, then you just crank that down. It goes right in this hole. You see anything wrong with that? No. All Look, sued up. Looks factory. All sued up. Sued up, prepare for battle. Whoever changes this next is not gonna like it, but. They're gonna have to solve all it off. I'm not gonna lie. It's just, this is how you fix it when you don't have a gasket. All right, I think we got it. Okay. Test of all tests is just firing it up and seeing if it leaks. I'll jump up in there and start it and bend Fire it. Fire it up. Underneath. We're gonna listen for the the noise. No noise is the key word. Ooh. Nice, nice and quiet. Well, there you go. That's how you fix that flange. No more of that uh, mess right there. Those always leak. But you definitely don't put brackets on it. Yep, so basically, this thing's whipped. We'll let it down, call them up, tell them to come and get it. All right, 
This thing is down. Ben's gonna fire it up. Whisper quiet. We're good to go. Another project done. We'll uh, move on to something else. So thanks for watching.